what's up guys uh, went ahead and went on base got myself some uh, breakfast and now I'm on my way home so just wanted to record my uh, route home so that you guys could see a little bit of Korea a little bit of uh, you know the, the, the roads here and stuff It's currently about 45 degrees. Uh, there's tons of, uh, you know, cameras here. There's one right here, right up ahead on the top right corner. I'm sure, I'm not sure if you, you guys saw it, but there was one right there. Uh, there's tons of speed bumps. And that little ding that you just heard, that was actually my camera. I have a uh, Pretty much uh, every foreigner here in Korea is highly, highly recommended and advised. They need to have a camera front camera and a rear one in their in their vehicles. Another camera we just passed in the top right, and then we're about to get to a another. You know, it's, I mean, I would call this a intersection, a normal intersection, and there is a camera. Uh, facing every which way here so I don't know if you could see it uh, see all the cameras there's about maybe you know four to six of them just up there um, but yeah they recommend everyone to go ahead and get cameras facing forward and backwards because uh, when you're a foreigner here um, you know a lot of stuff when you get into accidents uh, tends to be your fault so just to protect yourself, you know. Um, for the most part, Koreans here are, you know, uh, it's 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 very safe here. You know, it's not that, um, you know, it's safe. It's a safe country. You know, I don't. I rarely lock the doors to my car. If if any, I, I can't remember last time I locked the doors to my car. Um, and uh, but yeah, it's it's a safe country. Uh, you know, currently we're under restrict uh, travel restrictions because of COVID. Um, I am part of the. I'm affiliated with the U.S. military here, so uh, we can't dine in at restaurants. Uh, we can't uh, travel very far. And, uh, but yeah, you see this car in front of me is just, just stopping in the middle of the road. Um, where I'm located, it's kind of like in the farm side. You know, there's a lot of farmland here. Um, we have a ton of um, crops and stuff being grown all, all around us. And uh, yeah, that car is just kind of acting uh, kind of strange. I had to pass them up. You see that little horse statue on the right, I mean, on the left side there. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there's people just walking on the side of the road here. You just have to be careful not to hit them because you will be liable if you hit any of them. Um, they will come back and sue you so much. Even if you tap them, they will come back and uh, sue you. You know, there's so many ca cameras here that you really cannot, uh, you know, uh, hit and runs here just don't exist. You know, you hit something, it could be property, it could be a person. You know, you better uh, stay until that person comes back or, you know, let some someone know. This is uh, this is the road I take. Uh, you know, one of the roads. I, I don't necessarily take the same road every time, but this is probably the most scenic road I take to get home. So, but yeah, this is not bad. I mean, it's it is uh relatively clean 
you know, and I say that very loosely. I've, I've been in a lot dirtier countries, like Jordan. Jordan is just a very dirty country. Um, Korea is okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely not clean per se like other countries are, but it's not dirty. It's kind of like, to me, it's middle of the road. There's a ton of good uh, places to eat at here. You know, after a while, Korean barbecue kind of gets old, just to be honest with you. Um, I've ate Korean barbecue a handful of times in the six months I've been here, and I'm just kind of over at this point. Um, they have a lot of noodles, which again, noodles is not bad, but you get tired of it real quick. And if you're not into noodles or if you're not into Korean barbecue, everything else is very far in between. You know, they have a couple pizza places here and there, but it's definitely not any good quality pizza. So now we're going under a underpass. You know, there's cars just parked literally everywhere and anywhere here. And we're going to get on the freeway here. One thing to notice, uh, you know, one thing to take out, you know, take from the free freeway driving here is that there is a ton of cameras here. You cannot speed. They will ticket you if you go over their speeding uh, limit. Speed limit for the majority, you can see it's right here on the top right corner. It is 90 uh, kilometers an hour, which is about 55 miles an hour. That's pretty much your max you're going to see throughout Korea. There are, there have been a few spots on the tollway where I think it went up to, um, I think it's 100 kilometers, 100 or 110, which is about, you know, 65, 70 miles an hour, which is not bad, but still. Uh, the only downfall is that there is a camera every half a mile here. We're about to pass one here. Uh, if you can see them on the top here, there's one right there. And then there's another one up here on the top right corner. There's a camera right there. There's a camera, you know, every few uh, hundred me meters here. And every camera is, uh, uh, we'll take it to, there's different types also so one you have the ticket where if you pass the camera if you're speeding at that moment they'll give you a ticket there's also an average one where they will average up your speed between camera one and camera two and if you know once whatever technology they have say that you were speeding along and then you all of a sudden you braked right at the camera they will still ticket you because they know you were not supposed to go from camera one to camera two in less than X amount of time, you know. So, uh, today the, the weather is pretty, uh, it's it's not bad weather-wise, but uh, there's a lot of uh, air pollution here, so it's it looks very hazy here. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it's really just all the smog. That's all it is. It's it's not that it's gonna rain. It's just the smog from all the pollution in the air. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not it's not clean. It's it's dirty. You know? um, but yeah, this is my my route home. Uh, one of my routes. I can go ahead and. Uh, you know, uh, end the video shortly so that I don't um, go all the way home and com compromise something, you know, stuff like that. But, but yeah, this is uh, uh, this is Korea. Definitely a little bit different from the U.S. You know, uh, as far as uh, sports cards, um, they're pretty much non-existent here. Enough. I have run across uh, a couple stores where they sell Korean baseball league cars. So um, 
they're not cheap. They're like four bucks, I think four bucks a pack, which I thought was kind of expensive, but um, I'm thinking about buying a few just to rip them, you know, on the channel just to see what they're all about. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have any American players in the league, which I'm sure they do. I think they, you know, they probably do have some American players. So, but, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Uh, you know, they have some Pokemon, uh, Korean Pokemon cards. And uh, that's about it for sports cards. Uh, right now we're not allowed to travel with Seoul. I know there is at least one card shop in Seoul that I would like to go to at some point while I'm here and check them out. So, but that's it guys. Uh, I just want to do a quick video of Korea to give you guys an idea of how it is here and I will talk to you guys later. Be safe out there guys. Thanks for watching.